I arrive and realize we are meeting in a hotel. My production team is nearby. You really want a job? My touchy mini. Without warning, he grabs me. Nimerejea tena mpendo wa mtazamaji ni Tewini Mandi wanasema ni janja la town karibu sana ndani ya Chombe ambapo siku zote mpendo wa mtazamaji na kuambia udaku haupindi uzembe na isipokuwa udaku tu mpendo wa mtazamaji kumbuka niko hapa ni kuelimishe ni kufahamishe ni kujuze na niweze pia kukuweza kukutaarifu basi ni habari za kusikitisha mpendo wa mtazamaji kutoka upande wa bonde la ufa na pitia ana pia kupitia pale kwenye mitandao na pia vyombo vya habari vya BBC ambapo mpendo mtazamaji aje palitokea maandishi kutoka bonde la ufa ambapo msimamizi mmoja wa kampuni la KTDA ama kipenda kampuni la majani chai hapa nchini ambapo mpendo wa mtazamaji kuna kisa kiliweza kutokea msimamizi anayejulikana kama John Chebochok ambaye mpendo wa mtazamaji ndiye msimamizi katika ile kampuni alionekana ama iliweza kuonyesha picha na mkanda uliompata kwenye hatia fulani mpendo wa mtazamaji hii ni baada mwanamke mmoja ama basi mtoto wa kike kuweza kujitokeza na kusema kwamba <coughs> John alikuwa ni mmoja kati ya wale ambao waliweza kuwa wanamuagiza ngono ndo aweze kupata pesa ama ndo aweze kufanya kazi pale samahani. Basi John aliweza kushtakiwa na swala la kuwa la, la kuagiza watoto wa kike ngono ama basi mpendo mtazamaji kile kinachosemekana kulala na wanawake ndo mpendo mtazamaji akaweze kuwapatia pesa. Kuna mkanda mpendo mtazamaji uliweza kuonekana hapa na baadhi pia ya maoni kutoka upande wa Twitter wa Kenya mpendo mtazamaji wameweza kuonyesha mori wao na kusema kwamba John aweze kuchukuliwa hatua maana ni jambo ambalo limewafanya wa dada wengi mpendo wa mtazamaji kupoteza ajira zao na pia mpendo wa mtazamaji kile ambacho wanachokitaja kama kutumika vibaya katika makampuni mpendo wa mtazamaji na kurudisha pia mwaka 2017 inaonekana kwamba John Chebochok aliweza kuwania tiketi ya kutaka kuwa mbunge pale na tiketi ya jubilee ambapo ni maeneo ya Kipkelion West Kipkelion West tunaweza kuona posta ambayo iliweza kuonyesha pale pia akiwa ame ita manager. Mpendo mtazamaji ni swala ambalo limeweza kutokea kwenye mitandao na kama nilivyokuambia ni kwenye maandishi ya BBC. Na baadhi ya maoni pia mpendo mtazamaji yameweza kuonekana Twitter, nitakuwa nakuwekea hapa hivi maoni lakini kwanza kabisa wacha nikakuanzishe na mkanda ulioonyesha John mpendo mtazamaji ambaye nimekuambia ni msimamizi kutoka kampuni ya KTDA maeneo ya bonde la ufa. Mimi sijui maoni yako ni yapi lakini pia mpendo mtazamaji wa na maoni gonga notification bell hakikisha umeweza kusubscribe mpendo mtazamaji na hakikisha kwamba umeweza kushare ndo angalau nasi pia tukaweze kupata taarifa zaidi nite winimandi usijue kaenda mbali na kama nilivyokuambia siko hapa nikupe udaku tu siko hapa nitupe mikuki tu basi niko hapa ni kuelimishe ni kufahamishe ni kujuze na pia niweze kukutaarifu usijue kaenda mbali basi nitakuwa nakupa taarifa zaidi iwapo pata kuwepo na jambo lingine lita kalo tokea ama swala lingine dhidi ya taarifa hii but still bought Kenyan tea grown on these plantations we still proud of our multi million dollar tea industry until i learned the true reality of its dirty secret i agree to go and cover for bbc africa i to expose it what i observed was very fine The BBC spoke to 100 women working on Kenyan tea plantations. 75 of them told us they had been sexually harassed. The information led us here to plantations owned by Scottish farm James Finlay and Company. I have a job interview. Hello? I arrive and realize we are meeting in a hotel. My production team is nearby. You really want a job? My touch mimi. Without warning, he grabs me. Okay, 
My production team makes a phone call to get me out. I can't believe what just happened. James Finlay and company responded to the BBC and suspended this man and another manager named in the investigation. The company said it is conducting an internal review and has reported both men to Kenyan police. But my undercover work wasn't over. The BBC had heard of similar allegations on 